Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run where we are playing Spiral Reignited Trilogy. So last time we made some more progress in Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage uh, with Silver Blaze the Dracosaur. And let's see who's going to be stepping in. Oh crap, right. I forgot to change that. Give me a second. I knew I, f I always forget to do something, right? There we go. So anyway, <laughs> um, last time we did most uh, most of the rest of uh, Ripto's Rage. So this time let's um, go back in there and probably finish what we started and take care of Ripto and his rage. And stepping in this time is Zenner the dragon. Basically a recolor Spyro. There, there's that little detail there on the leg. Anyway, so we finished Summer Forest. Um, let's go take care of Fracture Hills because that, that one's annoying. Let's get it out of the way. Yes, yes, yes. So literally the only thing that we need to do here is the second quest uh, all the way at the back. And I'll release the satyrs as we go, because why not? What the? Really? I disagree, game. Okay, I agree with that one. Okay, so here it is. So unfortunately, we're going to have to do part one again, because Hunter's gone, gotten himself stuck again. Now. So this is why I only gave, I, I said I would only give this one one try the first time, and then I ended up one-shotting it, so I guess. If I had not run into that wall... Yes, yeah, stop laughing. Really? Need to do it again before I can try to, to do the whole thing? Yep. And I'm not having as much luck this time as I did the first time. Because, of course. You know, dude, you could just go in a straight line.
Right. This is where you jank off in a different direction. Okay. So here we are back at this part. Man, you... And now we have the uh, the head bash so we can here, like do the second part. Stubborn earth shapers? Yes. All right. When I shoot an earth shaper with an arrow, you head bash him before he gets back up. Remember, head bash by jumping and then pressing the action button. There's also a way to do this quest super cheap, but um, it's not exactly something that you can just do. There we go. We make a great team. Here, I was gonna give this to the alchemist, but I'm a bit annoyed at him at the moment. I'm a bit annoyed at you. Why'd you get your feet stuck again? Okay, so we got all the orbs, and that's all we needed to do. Uh, so now Shady Oasis. Why are you giving the orbs to the alchemist? We need those for going home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also kind of sucks that I kind of have to do the um, the main quest part of uh, of this stage in order to be able to go anywhere in it. It didn't hurt me at the very least, it just stunned me. Making quick work of everyone here, though. I'm gonna need the stone. To hit that one. And that, I think, is the last one. Ow. Dude. Please. Thanks for 
This should be the last, the last of the gems? No. Okay. There's still gems left, but uh, there's also this. Yes, I understand how to head bash. Thank you. Okay, there are some, uh, there are some gems here, too. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Thanks for freeing us. All I have to give you is this thingy I found. At least it's not a rock. I mean this gem orb thing is sort of rock. It's made of a kind of rock. There we go, that should be the last of the gems. There we go. And so that leaves Winter Plains. Well, autumn plains, but with winter dressing. remember where because I think there's like a secret passage there it is now let's me go up here apparently there's a candy cane here because that's apparently a challenge that was added with this uh, with this modified home world. Which I still think, like, this is a really cool looking home world. Like, this mod. I don't remember this being a thing. What is this? This is definitely new. Let's take a look at here. Jumps are not kidding around. Ah, dang it. Well, at least we had plenty of room to glide back to this place. Glad that I came up here though. Like, ah, uh, come on. Like, these are very, very tight jumps. Yeah. <sighs> ah. 
Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, come on! Those jerks at the end there. I'm pretty sure they're too big to charge. Curious, but I'm also kind of getting tired of trying this. Still need to go up to that tower. That's from here. See that little shine over there? Yeah, we need to actually reach that. That is why we came up here in the first place. No, oh, but it started us up here. Good. All right. Oh, we also need to land on the wall. Here, no. That's on the other end. So we're just gonna run across these ramparts all the way to the other end. And right over here is our last orb and our last gem. Bedding, that's probably a candy cane up in there. Anyway, that's extra content. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just go back to Winter Tundra. So yeah, now that we have Head Bash, by the way, we can open this door, which opens inward, might I add, not outward. We could have pushed this door open in the first place. What the hell? Yep. What happened there? So that's supposed to just be a quick way to get up there. But also a way to get that orb. There we go. So at least we got that orb. I mean, we don't need this whirlwind to get up there. They're just steep steps and they're kind of annoying to climb. Let's clean out this place of gems. 
There is some more up the stairs. I'm not going to worry about those right now. For now, I'm going to worry about what's over here. Oh geez, almost went off in the wrong direction into the abyss. Uh, was there anything else here? Right, in here. Oh, it's you. One last speedway adventure for you, Spyro. It's not that expensive, you know. Mm hmm You've chosen wisely. I bet a quick dragon like you will win your money back in no time. Also, there is an orb up there. And there is a possibility that this world when not working will make getting that hard. Well, maybe not that hard. As you see, we gotta drop into here. Which is that same cave, but at the top of it, and we're going to be able to get that, uh, that orb. There it is. Make sure there aren't any gems. That orb has taunted many a Spyro player. But that's how you get it. But what is going on? Like, is it a problem with this, uh... With this model colliding with something? We've done cloud tempers, right? Yeah. I assume they're not they're not using the actual mesh for the physics. It's so weird that it would just collide though like that. Like we've used several other um, models before and none of them have done that. I can see you've learned the value of orb spiral. This touchy gate should work perfectly with the help of your impressive orb collection. <clears throat> phrasing, Professor. Are we not doing phrasing anymore? Seriously? Yeah. Hi! Well, I guess pigs are about to fly. Or something. This insurrection from the farm has got quite out of hand. We need someone to restore order. Find the inventor droid. She's been working on something big. Insurrection from the farms? What? What did you do to anger the farm? With all the budget cuts, these elevators need serious work. See, this one here is stuck. I expect it will start working again if you just give it a good whack, though.
You thought of city robots and farm animals. And also, farm robots, and for that matter, city animals. Oh, you're big and metallic. Or partially metallic. That looks unsafe. Okay, a couple of random deaths there that I had nothing to do with. Strong box there. has taken over our armory and here we thought that freezing the walkway would keep animals out wrong here the ox is very tough i would advise using the bombs against it and it will probably take several bombs at that okay Ow. Three. Four. And there we go. Excellent work, Dragon. We can now defend our city properly. Take this visually pleasing reward. Visually pleasing. I mean, I guess it is. Shiny. Nothing else here. A little concerned about the strong box, though. How are we gonna open that? Making absolutely sure that one, you have head bash, and two, you know how to use it. That's what I think to using gun. this. That looks fancy. Ah, Spyro. I heard you were coming. Thank you for your efforts in thwarting this attempted coup. Please take this item, which living creatures seem to like. Yeah, I'm a fan of orbs. Whatever. It's a 
birthday first for Avalar, a combination power-up. Thank goodness you're here to test it out. These invading sheep in their spaceships must be stopped. Invading sheep? Okay. Yes, now we get supercharged and super play. Oh, super flight and super flame. Okay, that was in the way. That was a good idea to refresh that when uh, when you go by. I forgot they fire back. There's the last one. I'd rather not follow it in the tunnel if it can shoot back at me. There we go. That's three orbs, right? Surely there's not going to be another one. I knew it. Those first sheep sent out a distress call. The next wave of saucers is incoming. Oh boy. Five of them. They seem more scared and confused than, like, violent. On purpose. And yet here I am, blasting them out of the sky, because some robot told me to do it. Like, have we tried talking to them? Reasoning with them? No. Nice flying, Airman. You've proven the genius of my double power-up invention. Here, keep this to commemorate your victory. I'm pretty sure Spyro, or whoever Spyro ends up being today, is just chaotic neutral. Sparks was there. Probably go refresh my power up. I could stop this, but using Super Flame is more fun. Uh, where is... There we go. Something underneath as well. well. We did see that uh, that strong box. This is probably how we're supposed to break it. Uh, 
I just need to remember how to get there. There it is. You can only go back so far with this too. Um, if you try to go back to where the uh, where the bowl was, it'll just completely expire like in seconds. Yeah, it just completely vanished. Because they don't want you breaking this challenge. Oh. It's one of the stair here. It's 400. And that's the entire stage. But he's having another one. Oh! Hmm. Maybe we should report that to the Transit Authority. Then again, we're already not in Metropolis anymore. Oh well. So speaking of the farms, here they are. Here. The robo bugs are evolving. Howdy, Spyro. These here pests have infested our farm. Could you find the time to help us get rid of them? Find your way over to the giant bug lamp and turn it on so we can zap any more feeding pests. Do you see what I'm seeing right now? Zenner's feet are inside This might explain why um, we're colliding against nothing If it gets to be too much of a problem, I'll just turn off this model and just play as Spyro for the rest of the session. Ow. So far, the issues that we have uh, encountered have not been unresolvable. The old, I think that's the only enemy in the game that requires a head stomp or a head bash, or whatever you want to call it, in order to defeat. So here's the gimmick for this stage. 
Well, the major gimmick anyway. Is these things. You stand on one end for too long, it starts to fall. It is, after all, on a basic fulcrum. Is this anything? Oh, it shot this, okay. Interesting. Another lockbox here, a strong box. I keep mixing the terms. There is no lock on that strong box. These dark bugs are making a joke of my expensive robot scarecrows. Can you chase them down and flame them, Spyro? Okay. Oh, jeez. Eek, The 61. We're almost there. Now, if we really want to, we can uh, flame those bugs once again, but we don't get anything for it. Maybe that explosion was a little too close. Hey buddy. Left yourself open there. Did I get him? No, I didn't. because of geometry. Take care of you.
Not really sure what happened there. Get out, get out of my face. Leave me alone. Well, that didn't work out. There we go. That looks like the end of level banner. Give me, give me everything you got. I guess that's everything you got. Also, there are feet are on the ground now. I don't know what that means. Now they're not? What the? There's something wonky going on with the collision with this model. Okay, let's see. What would be the best path? Oh, it's over here. Oh, and we have one of these. Great. Hey, buddy. I used to drive my tractor all around the farm, but some fool robot blocked the path up. Do you think you can clear things up with a bit of supercharge? Sure, why not? Well, I hit it. I didn't mean to, but I kind of needed to anyway. I missed one. And then I fell off. I think there should be... Isn't there like a whirlwind around here? No? I thought for sure there would be. Maybe it's on the other side. Spiral, please. Or Zenner. Ow. There we go. Oh, that's where the whirlwind is. Anyway, we got everything, but somehow missed one... Ah, frickin'... Ah... Oh, hey, that's where that... that's where that ended up. Go ahead and break that. Test by the farmer with a bug problem. If you found it in the cow pen, I'm not sure that I want it. But I guess I should probably take it anyway. 
63. And that's all the orbs in every single normal stage. There is one left, and I'm sure you know where it is. Camera, please. Camera? Right, and th then there's that strong box. Hmm. What? How did that not hit you? Now is the task of trying to figure out exactly where I need to get off. Okay, before the first round. Probably not the last one, I want to say. Yep. This way? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, that's the last one, all right. That's all the gems. Give me 100% level complete. And uh, since we're back at the start here, let's go ahead and just exit. Now let's hope that doing the... Um, doing the speedway doesn't incur any issues. If it does, I'm gonna have to um, restart the game without this model. Actually, let's go ahead and grab the gems going up here just so that we can finally have a nice round number of gems hey Laura trying to not engage you right now eh? oh right there are some gems behind that door right, now that you've got the orbs Ripto's demise is only moments away right Right? Well, anyway, good luck. He's right through this door. I mean, I still have a speedway to do, but we're almost there. There we go. Nice round 5,500. This was not where to fall. 
And I managed to not die. So on to our last speedway. And this, I believe, is actually the speedway that people use to completely break the game. Because there's like a way that you can enter this speedway and then like enter the speedway during a cutscene, then exit the game, go back into the game, and then it thinks that you're in, Can in Canyon Speedway and just leaves the speedway flag on so you can just fly forever. It is a little distracting in that you do still get the um, like you do still get the timer in the corner, but the timer is not really counting down to anything. This is the one we flamed. There we go. There's Hunter. There we go! First try! Well, second try. First real try and we got all the gems in a single shot. So, now we gotta find Hunter again. I forget exactly where he is. But if we find the birds, we'll find Hunter. Try out my plane. I just fixed it, and I'm pretty sure it won't crash now. Oh dear, do we have to? Okay, Spyro, here's what you gotta do. I've got the plane on remote control, so all you have to do is hit the targets with your machine gun. Press the attack button to fire the gun, and use your left stick to aim. Okie dokie. By the way, if you miss any targets, it stands to reason that uh, you just lose immediately. Because you had such a good pilot. Uh huh. Give me my orb. And that, my friends, is everything. We have every single collectible 10,000 out of 10,000 gems, 64 out of 64 orbs. There is only one thing left to do. But we need a plane section in this dragon game. Especially in, especially in the stage where the dragon can fly.
down we go again. Like, we, we've been on this one, like, at least once successfully. I don't know why it's not working anymore. Fortunately, the problem seems to be, come on, seems to be localized to whirlwinds and possibly only in this home world. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. So uh, let's go ahead and pop those babies back into this portal and... Uh... Oh right, there's still a gem on top that we need, right? I guess Ripto has that. All right, Spyro. Now yeah, yeah, yeah. We've already said that. I think it's during this cutscene that you can, like, if you know how to do it, you can actually get into Canyon Speedway and then quit the game. Yeah! Come back here, you useless animal! It's hey, sweet, weird how it works. I can help. What? You again? Yep. If you want to test that power crystal, why don't you try it on me? I'll stand still, I promise. Hmm, I like that idea. Dragon, you've just sealed your fate! See? I'll stand still. Spyro, we want to help you fight Ripto. Elora is using the orbs you collected to store power up energy. Hunter will throw the powered up orbs to you as they become ready. Even as we speak, the professor is experimenting with new forms of power-up energy, so you'll soon have abilities that no one has ever seen before. Oh man! See, I'm gonna stand still. You just, you just do your thing. Problem is. Um, Ripto is also collecting the orbs. Oh, I got two hits off, alright. So you need three orbs in order to uh, launch an attack. Hunter, can you do a better job at throwing the orbs in my vicinity? Not in Ripto's? Oh my goodness. And yes, I can attack Ripto without a power-up, but it just stuns and it doesn't really. Hunter, please. This is, this is why... This is why Alora and the Professor needed to summon a dragon. Because you don't know what you're doing, clearly.
There we go. Something about these boss fights that feel annoying to you. I can kind of understand what you're talking about. Couple of hits off. Also, the little animation there you got going on to, uh, to eat the orbs. It's kind of eating into your uh, effective time to be able to actually attack me. Uh-oh. What's going on here? But yeah, there the floor is now literally lava. Just a kind of a weird fight, honestly. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There we go. I completely missed. Okay, we're both down to one hit now, so... There we go. Well... Crypto's dead. Somehow that happens. And Spyro comes in and takes the glory, because of course. I don't think we could ever thank you enough, Spyro. I suppose you have to go now? Yeah, I'd better. They'll be missing me in the Dragon Worlds, and I've still got a vacation to take. I need it more than ever now. Before you go, I think that Moneybags has something he wants to give you. Oh, does he now? I certainly do not. Hunter? Huh? Consider it salary. <laughs> Spyro, Moneybags is very sorry that he made you pay so much on your way through Avalar. We want you to keep the gems as a reward for helping us. Wow, thanks. Uh, Sparks, can you grab them? Let me just type in the new coordinates and there. Spyro, you can now go to Dragon Shores. Hey, why don't you guys come with me? I bet you could use a holiday. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. We'll be cleaning up for weeks. Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Shores if you want to visit. Well, okay. Come on, Sparks. We got a lot of vacation to catch up on. Yeah. So I wonder if this works correctly. I, um, hmm, this seems regular speed to me. Because I, I had tried to install a, uh, 
uh, mod that basically turns this down from the 18 minutes long that it actually is to like four and a half. Actually, it is, I think it is going a little faster than, uh, than vanilla, let's say. There's a reason why I want to just let this run. Because I do have another plan for the end end of the game. When we finished Year of the Dragon. But yeah, it turns out there's um, a lot of people who worked on this game. Like, a lot of people. Uh, one thing that I do kind of appreciate, though, about um, some of these uh, larger companies posting these credits is that they also take into consideration, like, the people doing, like, customer service in some cases. Like, I, I remember, well, it doesn't really apply to every, uh, to every game, obviously. But uh, I remember seeing the credits for Diablo 3. And you can you can say it like say what you want about Blizzard Activision. I'm not going to I'm not gonna argue there. They have done some bad things. One good thing that they have done is yeah, the entire customer service team is in the credits for Diablo 3. That's not something that you, that you would usually see. <laughs> but it is something that they did. How many of those are stuck in the COD Battle Royale? Oh boy. Last I checked, Toys for Bob is stuck in the COD Battle Royale. Friggin. Everyone's screaming for a Spyro 4. And they're like, Toys for Bob, we're, take we're taking you off the weird games. You're gonna make some more Call of Duty. But we don't have enough Call of Duty. You have like 47 games. Yeah, we're it's not enough. People actually buy these. I'm sure a lot of people bought Spyro Reignited. Uh, no, another thing about um, the Diablo 3 credits. Someone, someone in those credits named Datho. Which I think is just amazing. Spyro, please. I do kind of prefer, honestly, the um, the credit sequence from the originals, because not when you actually like get a fly through of all the stages. Oh, that Spyro! There, there's also like 14 companies who worked on this game. I don't know what all of them specifically did, but you know. Yeah, 
interesting that um, all of these uh, all of these flavor pictures seem to be Spyro showing off his skills of an artist. I mean, I can tell you how to I, I can tell you how to draw a dragon. You start with an S, and a more different S. Then you close up you close up the mouth with a long V. And uh, yeah, a, a couple of more consummate V's to um, you know what? Now I think we need to start over. The S is for sucks. But I do know that at the end you probably want to add some majesty lines. And also, uh, you know, wingling. A little wingling dragon here. And you tack on a beefy arm for good measure. Om nom workshop. Alright. Hey look, other dragons, you know, that thing you don't see in Spyro 2. I guess the kind of figure that most people are going to watch, like most people who are going to watch the credits are probably going to watch it after they finish the first game, which I guess kind of makes sense. And then they would realize how long these are and be like, yeah, I'm not sitting through that again. Yeah, I guess the uh, the mod that I installed uh, to make this go faster probably got overwritten because I'm pretty sure it's been more than four and a half minutes at this point. It's weird that it would have gotten overwritten though because like I installed another mod to shorten the um, Like the, the 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 company logos at the beginning of the game, those are just fine. Maybe I just installed this wrong. I don't know. And here are your original credits. Ah, uh, music credits. Oh, and then Activision, Activision Publishing specifically. I guess they ran out of art. Also, there are much fewer people involved in publishing a game. Lots of senior managers, though. And this list of people is probably being paid exorbitant amounts of money and really don't need to. The paralegal makes me think of like, it's a lawyer who's also a paramedic. I honestly don't know what paralegal is. A lawyer for paranormal laws. Yes. Also, I just realized that the uh, the chat is the ch the chat's fucked off again. Great. Thing is, I, I want to let these uh, these credits run. So if I click anywhere, they're probably going to stop. Person with some legal training whose job is to help lawyers. Ah, so it's it's a it's a lawyer's assistant, effectively.
I don't understand why the chat keeps just kind of shunting itself off to the side like that. That's really annoying. It seems to happen more when I change uh, scene collections. Because it like there seems to be a bug where like if you if you, the anchor for a source uh, for a browser source specifically is not set to top left, then when you start up OBS, it'll be set to top left temporarily. But the problem is, it can somehow like save the new position with the proper anchor, meaning that it's just going to be like shunted off in some direction that you don't want. So I'm gonna have to fix that. Which, I mean, it's an easy fix, it's just annoying to have to do it all the time. But I've been doing a lot more, like, changing scene collections since I have the two channels now, rather than have two separate OBS installs. By manager? I mean, that's, that's fine. Love who you love, I guess. I don't know why it was specifically listed as a by manager. Also trans rights. Someone just someone just messaged me and remembered that now is stream time. That's forty seven million people, holy crap. I'm sure they could have come up with, like, a more efficient way of delivering these credits. Or maybe, like, at least more visually appe appealing, because, like, at this point we're just looking at credits. Like, they're, they're assuming that everyone has given up on these. Paralegal 1? Paralegal 3? Or is there a Paralegal 2? Oh good, player support. Ne never, never play a video game without proper player support. Alexandra Spry, that's almost the correct name. Should have been Alexandra Spyro. I don't know what the Volt on site program is, but uh, important enough to mention here. I'm guessing it's uh, maybe it's some sort of like um, incentive system that uh, is supposed to encourage employees during crunch. Freaking crunch, man.
See, that's why, like, as a game developer, I want to be big enough to be able to support myself and anyone who might be working with me. But I don't want to be so big that I have to start worrying about deadlines and crap. Yes, it is kind of fortunate that there are like specifically indie publishers, like for instance Benji. Like Andrew Schultz has worked for a long time on um, on Tunic, on Tunic, and uh, the Runaway Guys tester. What? I don't think there are that many people on the Runaway Guys. I'm pretty sure it's just the three. But yeah, like I don't I don't think there was ever like a deadline um, imposed by Finji for uh, for Tunic to come out. It might not be a, not might not be a bad idea for me to eventually find like a publisher. Yeah, big thanks to Bobby Kotick. The super huge 100 million times zero. Now these are the people who matter. <laughs> Tom Kenny, and they, they don't even like mention the like these people voiced this character, yeah. You know? Matt Mercer, but isn't that the guy from like Critical Role? Roger Craig Smith, that's Sonic. No sheep were harmed during the creation of this game. A few norks, but no sheep. Thank you for your play. Now we've sat through the long ass credits. By the way, I don't know why there's only like this many people on here. Maybe, actually that, that might have been the team for the original. Spyro, which is why it was like just that many people because that's, that, that's the actual team from Insomniac Games. All right, so what's your well deal? Done, Spyro. Step right into Dragon Shores Park. By the way, if you win 10 tokens, you can visit our theater. Okie dokie. Um, so I think there is like an actual requirement for getting in here. I It's not 100%, but it's pretty high. Welcome to the Dragon Shores Coaster. Here at the Shores, we don't just ride though. If you can pop all the balloons on the track, a token is waiting for you. Ready to ride? This is the more annoying thing to Watch worry out about. The coasters out there. It's a crowded track today. So let's do this first. Why is there someone playing on the track? Some, like, keep your children in check. They shouldn't be playing on active roller coaster tracks. Also, going the, the opposite. Who's running this thing? I want to speak to your manager. I have so many safety concerns. Good job, Dragon. Here's a token for you. All right. I'll flip this switch, and now you can ride more tracks. See if you can pop the balloons on these tracks too. Okay. Watch out for the other coast. Yeah. Hey. 
So in order to select the track, you need to actually like tilt the stick toward that track. If you don't, it'll just pick like the default track to go on. There we go. Hey, not bad. Oh right, I forgot to fix the chat. Hang on. There we go. Should be fixed now. Yeah, there we go. One more run. You're on a roll. This time you'll need to use the cannon installed on your car to shoot down balloons as well. Are you gonna give it a try? Oh, I have a choice. Watch out for the other coasters out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I just blast the other coasters? Apparently not. Did I get everything? Yeah, I did. I got one. There we go. Dang. Hey, Sim Guy, how you doing? I think I got everything. He's doing Lua things. Lua is a silly language. I remember the last time I tried to use Lua. I think I got it. Thing. I'm gonna take a risk and say I got everything. Oh, I didn't get that balloon. Wouldn't be your first choice, but wow add-ons, yeah. Anyone who is playing WoW, by the way, Sin Guy has got three add-ons that he's working on that are currently out, as, my, as is my understanding. It's pretty fancy. Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, fifty. Wow, you're a natural. You've conquered the coaster. Here's my last token. Did Spyro just sneeze? Or Zenner? Just for fun? That's not fun. You know, roller coasters aren't for everyone. Come on back again sometime. I'm lying. That was a little fun. Free, free, free! You pay no money down and make no monthly payments. In return, I'll give you one token. One is all I can give, but you can ride as many times as you'd like. So... Is there any skill involved? Overboard, my friend. 
What do I gotta do? Hmm. I have concerns. I have many concerns. I am even more concerned. As promised, here's your one token. When you have ten tokens, try visiting the Dragon Shores Theater. Yes, this has been established already. Thank you. Ah, uh, let's see. Here we go. Hiya, Spiral. I hear you're a pretty good shot. How'd you like to try my shooting gallery? Sure. Okay. Yes That's or no. Oh, gee, these controls are super fast. Holy crap. I don't need these warp speed controls. I guess I don't really need to even move. Just keep the fire going, and eventually I'll hit everything. Also, why does that token have my face on it? Token of my appreciation. Ready for the next round? Okay, I'll set the timer for you. He's trying to retcon the me massacring the Norse. Maybe it's right. Here is my last token. Maybe it's not so much doing that. Maybe it's like Come on back anytime, Spyro. Maybe it's like the Norks aren't so bad if you don't have nasty like ordering them around. We'll get to that door in a second. Step right up, Spyro, and take a look at what we've got for you today. Inside this here booth, you'll find some of the most vicious creatures you've ever seen. I know I've seen a lot of vicious creatures. Here's a baseball to spit, sport. Take aim, shoot at the target, and watch as the terrifying creatures fall into the water below. But don't worry, you won't hurt them. Uh huh. What the? What's up with these throws? You get no height unless you're actually aiming. Hey, that was pretty funny, wasn't it? Take this token for being such a good shot. Have another shot if you want, kid. Uh, you would be remembering correctly, Tyrion. Uh, may maybe. This is pretty easy, isn't it? Have another yeah, sure is. token. Another shot if you want, kid. Maybe like Norks exist without being um oh this asshole. Definitely duck him. They like exist without having to be transformed from gems, and that's just the way that um Nasty did it. In order to get big enough numbers to try to take over the dragon worlds. Wow, you really are a great shot. Take this, it's my last token. Have 
another shot if you want, kid. Uh, there's not really any point in that. But we got ten tokens now. Let's go talk to this guy. Well, Spyro, it's your lucky day. You've managed to win enough tokens to enter the famous Dragon Shores Theater. Go on in and enjoy the show. <laughs> All right, let's go watch a movie. Um. Wait, these all sound very familiar. Has someone been spying on me? These are all my story. That's just creepy, man. Anyway, there is this door over here that I was purpose purposely avoiding. In order to open this door, you need to get all of the gems and all of the orbs. Every single one of them. As it turns out, we have those. And voila! The reason I had to use a cheat code at the beginning of this game. This is permanent super flame. Hmm. Seems to be somewhat, la somewhat lacking, isn't it? Um, so because I used that uh, that cheat code, I was thinking that this maybe like turns that off. But yeah, I just have regular flame right now. See, the problem is with that power up. It's like if you get permanent super flame, great. Uh, it's kind of a weird time to get it because you can't really use it. Um, to, you know, do anything useful in the game, but you can still, I mean, there's still plenty of skill points, and that's the entire use for the permanent super flame, is to do these skill points a little bit more easily. The problem is, the permanent super flame is so permanent, it affects all three files. You get it on one file, and it affects all three of them. And the only way to uh, turn that off is either by using that cheat code, or by deleting the save file where you got your permanent super flame. I'm pretty sure those are custom idle animations for this model. That's kind of neat. Um. Now. It was. This is not a bug. This is an intended feature. But I'm pretty sure the the way it worked in the original uh, Spyro 2 was that the flag would only enable once you actually loaded a save file that had permanent super flame in it. Now I could be mistaken. But I'm pretty sure that's how it worked. So, like, you could turn off the machine, turn it back on, open a different save file, and you wouldn't have the super flame. But you could go into the file where you got the super flame, start a new game, and it would apply to the new game. Anyway. So, that's it for... Uh, Spyro 2 Reptiles Rage Reignited. We're not done with this stream yet, however. We're gonna take a break. Um, so y'all can uh, get some of the drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And when we come back, there's one more game left in this collection. We're gonna get that one started. So, see you in a bit. <laughs> 